something that I heard, I think in 2004, was that Magnus had declined to work with Garry Kasparov. Mm. And at that time, I was thinking, wow, that's an incredibly bold decision. So, 2005. Yeah. 2005, okay, apologies. Yeah. And I still remember the shock that I felt, and I thought, wow, you know, how can a child refuse that? And then I thought, hang on a second, this takes guts, this takes confidence. So, I mean, what was the strategy for developing Magnus as a player? Well, basically, this is in line with uh, uh, what I introduced uh, about uh, letting him be in charge of the process and trying to to kind of guard him from mm -hmm. from uh, people uh, yeah. around who wanted to influence him. Because uh, I told people already when he was 10, 11, 12, etc. No, no, it's, it's just a hobby. He's, he's having fun. Uh, I'll support him, but uh, he'll decide. Because already when he was 12 or 13, people start saying, well, what if he wants to stop playing mm -hmm. chess? Yeah, then he'll stop playing chess. So, and you, you're cool with that? Yeah, yeah of course. That is, come on. Yeah. He's putting in all the work, he's all the dedication. It's his, mm -hmm. his game, basically. And uh, when we had the session with Kasparov, that was very interesting uh, uh, over Christmas 2004. Very interesting. And we also had a session in Moscow in the spring. Mm -hmm. But then Magnus got some homework uh, that he didn't really like. And then he decided, no, no, I don't want to do that. So basically, it's a bit more nuanced than mm -hmm. the story we might have heard. And I remember thinking at the time that, uh, well, turning down uh, cooperation with Kasparov, all time great, doesn't sound like a good idea. But again, it's his hobby. So I didn't even discuss it with him. I basically, it was. Non, uh, he, he said he didn't want to do. Okay, fine. That's that's it, and that that's fortunately a lesson I had learned already. Yeah. Uh, uh, once or twice, really. That no, no, no. This is uh, uh, we have to trust him, both because it's it's his. Yeah. It's not ours. It's his, and he seems to know what he's doing anyway. So I mean, it just took one and a half years after uh, this. Uh, uh, training camp with Kasparov that uh, one of his trainers met me at the Tal Memorial, I think one and a half years later. And uh, I said, well, Mangu still plays a lot. Maybe he should. And he said, no, no, it's OK. I, I, we have recognized that Magnus has this unique ability to learn from preparing for and playing a game and then I immediately digesting. Um, mm -hmm. uh, experience uh, at the board that day, so that he's ready to move on in a way. So they kind of uh, ab admitted that, uh, yeah, this seems to work for Magnus, he's, uh, he's doing fine, because they had been a bit critical about playing so much and mm -hmm. stud not studying so much, and uh, maybe not calculating precisely always. And, um, and fortunately, I kept my hands, <laughs> I sat on my hands, and. Uh, <laughs> didn't try to influence him. 